Look, I know how it sounds, okay? But, but I didn't know what else to do. So you went there to even the score? No. No, it wasn't like that. Then what was it like? Bobby told me to let the lawyers handle it. But they've been handling it for 12 years and nothing was happening. So I decided to go see Foley myself. But when I got there, he knew exactly who I was and he tried to slam the door in my face, so I pushed past him. I had to. I had to try to find something, anything that would prove Bobby's innocence. But as soon as I got in the house, he ran after me and he grabbed me. He grabbed me around my neck so tight I couldn't breathe. So, so I, I tried to get him off of me. But all I could do was push back on him and we hit a wall and he fell and... <sighs> Look, do you know, I, I go visit Bobby. Really, every week since I could drive. But in the last six months, he's, he's different. He's changed. He, he's giving up. You have no idea what it's like to watch someone you love so much give up on their life. Bobby's been rotting in that prison cell for 12 years for a crime he didn't commit. I had to do something. And now, now the guy's dead.